What's going on, guys? It's Beatums, and today I am reacting to another comedian. Uh, he was actually at the end of the last video that I reacted to. Um, it's that Stuart Francis video. No idea what this is about. I'm literally recording this right after because I just decided I'm going to do it regardless of whether people want to see it because I was curious. So, yeah, um, if you guys want to see the last one, there will be an annotation at some point in the first minute or so to all of my reaction videos. Um, if you guys want the original video link down in the description with my discord, Twitch, all that. And I'm just going to jump right in. Oh, by the way, if you guys have any suggestions for me, leave them down below in the comments. The seven of diamonds. Sorry, my mind's playing tricks with me. Good evening, everyone. I'm in Manchester! <laughs> Dreams do come true. This is fantastic. What an evening, a fantastic venue, a great audience. I'm filming my DVD. What can go wrong? <laughs> Last night, I was in Wolverhampton, so if it looks like I've been crying, because I've been crying. <laughs> the night before, I had a fantastic show in Barnstable. Well, I was like I died and went to Devon. <laughs> I don't get that one, but I'm guessing that's a local joke. Uh, let me just start by saying that it is an absolute pleasure. No, it is an absolute privilege to watch me perform. <laughs> Spoiler alert. While you cats were in here, I was out stealing aerodynamic devices off of cars. Spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, okay, now I get why it's called pungent. Okay. Most of his punchline is going to be the word spoiler alert. <laughs> yes. <laughs> spoiler alert. I hope you had a nice day. I, I, had, a, I had a weird day. I, I went to a drilling equipment seminar. Boring! <laughs> <laughs> Standing at the drilling equipment seminar, I was looking around thinking, what a bunch of fracking losers. <laughs> oh, man. Good, you laughed at the fracking reference, because that's a very controversial subject. And I'm not a controversial comedian. I never do a joke that is too soon. But you laughed at the fracking reference, which has cheered me up, because I've been feeling down lately. You know, not German pilot down, but just... just you know. Oh, God. <laughs> Had a sad day. I went to a funeral today. I went to the funeral of my Coke dealer's mother. So, uh... <laughs> oh, my God. Sorry, she was a good shit. <laughs> Still, we must crack on. <laughs> That's what she would have wanted. I think my Coke dealer's mother was a racist because uh, the mourners formed two white lines. <laughs> <laughs> or however you do it. <laughs> and uh, by the way, thank you for that lovely warm welcome. That warm welcome made this wordsmith very hungry, horny, happy. <laughs> Made this wordsmith very happy. That's so frustrating. I hate when I make verbal faux pas because I truly do see myself as a gifted locksmith. <laughs> Blacksmith, black man, <laughs> wordsmith. Wordsmith. A bit immature. I'll try not to be too immature tonight. I'll ask the same of you. I need you to not be immature. In fact, I need you to pledge to me that you won't be immature. Repeat after me. I, state your name. Very immature. I would have when said was, that too. Um, when I was 12 years old, I, I fractured my spine. And uh, when I was 18 years old, I crushed three of my vertebrae. Anyway, that's my backstory. <laughs> Uh, sounds a lot like mine. Please vote me through to the next round. <laughs> I want to be famous. 
I want to be famous like Kim Kardashian. However, unlike Kim Kardashian, I have no talent. <laughs> or a sense of irony. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to do any puns about Kim Kardashian's body, but... <laughs> and it's a big but. <laughs> Kim Kardashian is saddled with a huge ass. But enough about Kanye West. <laughs> oh, okay, so I could tell this one's a little People older. People laugh at Kanye West. He's become oh, no. a figure of fun. Not because of his talent, because he's very talented. Largely because of his behavior and his ridiculous rants. But I listened to his most recent ridiculous rant because I had three hours to kill. And afterwards, I got to thinking, what if he's right? What if Kanye West is actually right this time? What if pelicans are racist? Wait, what? And what if pelicans, along with owls, are using their huge influence in the music industry to systematically destroy the careers of young black artists? Owls are racist. Who knew? Oh. Was it worth it? so otherwise i might look ridiculous right now well you do but <laughs> some sad news my friends i was just recently fired as a conductor Why did that work? I'm going to miss working on that bus. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't know what the hell you were just doing, by the way. <laughs> Bunch of weirdos. <laughs> I don't have any parents that I know of. Okay. I don't think that's how it goes. I don't think it is either. Of course I have parents. People say I become very immature whenever I talk about my mommy and daddy. And those people are poo-poo heads. <laughs> With stinky bums. Stinky, stinky bums. Are my neighbors pleased that I bought a didgeridoo? No. Uh... I hate those things. I hate those things so much. Truth of the matter is, I was actually raised by goldfish, which explains the string of shit hanging from my ass. <laughs> Hopefully. Today I was oh, it's such a bad image. 80s new wave band walked in. I was like, O M D. I have no idea who that is. Very exciting news. Third Nipple magazine has just named me their sexiest man alive. Third Nipple Magazine. Okay, interesting. <laughs> uh, that guy was... He was weird. He was really weird. I I, I think I might have to see more of him. Um, it's a very weird sense of humor, but I think I liked it. So, uh, yeah. Um, if you guys want to see more of Stuart Francis, let me know down in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you guys on the next one.